Hey, what's going on guys? Um, a few inside details first. I got my car about a month and a half ago, I want to say. And uh, the uh, guy I got it from, he was actually a mechanic and he uh, actually did an engine swap on it. The uh, old engine blew and he put this engine in. Uh, it has 73,000 miles on it. And uh, the car was running great when I got it and everything. And uh, you wanted to say about a week and a half ago, I uh, woke up one day, I uh, came to check the water and sure enough it was empty. I look under the car and water all over the floor. Oh, it was awful. And so me being not knowing much about cars, honestly, um, I was really confused. And uh, I tried to look on there, but as you guys can see, this car is really low. I haven't really been able to take a really good look yet. I haven't taken it to a, like, a real mechanic yet. That's why I'm doing this video. Um, some friends came over the other day. We lifted the car up a little bit, and we tried to take a look on there. And we discovered that it seemed as if the... Uh, drippage was coming from somewhere up here um right now you can't see it right now there's no drippage but it seemed i don't know if you guys can see it seemed it seemed to be dripping from here but again this is always wet for this car it's always been wet maybe that whole part gets wet i'm not exactly sure um, they told me to check the hoses and the uh, clamps on the hoses and make sure they were tri tight. Which they seem to be. I mean, this one looks this one looks really bad, but I mean, it doesn't drip from there, so I'm not. I'm sure it's not from there. Um, the other ones, they they seem to. Yeah, they, they look all right. Once again, though, I <laughs> I know nothing about cars. Um, I do know, however, that it doesn't drip from down there, it drips from down here. So, I don't know, you guys, I mean, I can turn it on, but right now it has water. I forgot to mention this earlier. Um, the weird thing about this, it doesn't drip when it's hot. It only drips when it's cold. So, when I first discovered it, that it was dripping I I stopped moving the car completely and then I left it there for like five days and like it was just stationary for five days I put I came I I put the water in and it would just like fall just like slowly drips dripping dripping I will turn it on and it will go like even more even more even more and then one time I turned it on and then like I left it on going for a while and then it stopped dripping and then I was I was like what what is going on and so I started using it like that and then I came back and it was it stopped dripping completely and so I, I, I it I, it works perfectly once it warms up once it right now it's kind of warm it's not well, it's not, it's not actually kind of warm. It's, I used it about, I want to say, two hours ago. And it was completely fine. It's been completely fine. It's not dripping whatsoever right now. Right now, it's it's full. It's, it's all good right now. And it is anti It's not just water. Cause I've, but I, I know if I stop using it, it's going to all drip out. So I don't want to be, you know, just buying red, <laughs> large amounts of antifreeze bottles. So yeah, I don't know if you guys, if you guys have had any problems like this before, like what you guys' fix was to it, any advice you guys have before I take it to a real mechanic. I will, of course, eventually take it eventually, but I mean, I want to. You know how mechanics are, and they'll <laughs> charge you extra if they know, of course, that I don't know anything. 
um yeah well thank you so much for watching goodbye